Hi guys, I'm Fera from Guitars AI and I welcome you to this Python tutorial on the very basics of musical instrument, musical instruments classification using machine learning. So um, basically I'm going through uh, the solution of a problem uh, that is to uh, classify sound samples of different um, music uh, musical instruments. Yeah? So for example, uh, maybe some in a real life application imagine someone gives you a usb stick uh, with uh, some sound samples of different musical instruments but the, uh, the the name system the file system is very very confusing there's no indication of uh, what is what there is no order so uh, you would have to go and listen one by one and rename it so uh, you would make sense of um, what the sound samples are or you could use the computer to do it for you so this is the very basics of um, this classification problem we are going to uh, use a data set from the uh, Philharmonia Orchestra of London so uh, there is a website here where you have this data set of uh, thousands of sound samples of musical instruments so I pre-selected some 600 samples and it's already included in the repository and in this uh, MindBinder notebook everything configured for you and uh, we're going to use the MFCC the male fre frequency capstrom coefficients as an audio feature so the uh, MFCC is, is widely used in music information retrieval problems um, to uh, give the sense of timbre and we are going to use the KNN, the uh, K nearest neighbor classifier uh, from Scikit-Learn, which is a very, very uh, standard uh, and, and basic algorithm to uh, to classify. Yeah. So uh, let's get started. First thing, what I'm doing is I'm importing packages and libraries that, that we're going to use. So there are some uh, libraries to you. To use to um, to interact with the system Windows Linux or Mac to, to handle the files and uh, there is uh, some plotting and displaying <coughs> packages then there are packages from scikit-learn some some um, scalers label encoders the classifier some uh, evaluation tools I'm also using um, NumPy and Librosa to uh, deal with audio. So at, at this first part, I'm importing the libraries. Here is just an auxiliary uh, auxiliary function, just to uh, so I can display uh, web pages inside the Jupyter notebook. So here is the page for the uh, the data set. So you can download uh, the complete data set, or you can select the instruments. But you don't need to worry about this now uh, for this tutorial because everything's configured for you and you can find it on github so first step will be to get the file names of the uh, to get the files as in this directory so um, i'm using this part here and it's found 600 audio files at this path which is pre-configured already if you are running on your system you should change this to the path where you saved your audio files then we need to get the labels from the file names yeah, so uh, the, the name the, the files are named and there is uh, the instrument as part of the name so i'm going through the file names that i got from the previous step and i am um, just uh, to, to each file i'm uh, interested in this instrument so flute sax an oboe a cello a trumpet and a viola so then we each file now has a label attached to it but we need to encode those labels to transform the strings into numbers so scikit-learn has this function the label encoder and it will be uh, from 0 to n-1 classes so this is what I'm doing at this part here 